Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with Katrina Cat Shepherd. We have flown back to Omega. We have a data pad we're supposed to deliver to RM, so that's what we're gonna do. <coughs> And we'll take Garrus, so we get a line out of him. And I think I want to take a look at Morden. See if there's anything we can do with Morden. I think actually I could level Morden a little bit. Miri, Morden, Garrus, these are like my go-to team. Kasumi's pretty good too. Yep, I thought I thought I was as much. I'd really love to get him up to here before Horizon, but oh well. eradicated Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Yeah, so you could just walk around here in the open and nobody will notice that you're Archangel, huh? <laughs> Come on, let me in. What do you need? This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? I I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. I'm not looking for payment from you. Look at you. So proud. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, he was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle, my people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot Toughest fight of my life, but of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power, and we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting. 
Let's move on. Do you need something else? We friendly enough to talk about who you were before Omega? You're reaching back centuries, Shepard. Long before anything that should matter to you. So why keep it secret? No reason, from your perspective. But there are plenty of people out there with long memories. I've had a few careers. A few names. Commando training, mercenary leanings. I've kept what was valuable and dropped the baggage. I thought you were in charge. Why so scared of your past? I have nothing to fear on Omega. That doesn't mean I want to broadcast my past to the galaxy. You'd be surprised how long some entities can hold a grudge. This little exercise with Patriarch? A footnote. Not even the first Krogan I've pissed off. You're important, but also isolated. No other allies out there to back you up? I lean toward a particular type of work. It tends to encourage professional rivalry. Sometimes you'd rather disappear than be forced to kill someone. I wonder if that is reference to Rex. I don't know. He couldn't have started here with nothing. He must have been someone important. I've always been important, even if others didn't recognize it. So yes, I had money to start this operation. I also had creditors who thought they were more entitled to it. I let them chase a ghost. Or several. It's relatively easy to outlive a Solarian. But not their record keeping. Alright, I'll drop it. Better luck next time. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. Maybe I'll be here. I don't remember her getting that, getting, giving us that line, you should find a nice young man. Well, now we're going to go see about this convict rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever, except for Shepard. Shepard is easily the most powerful human biotic. We're not supposed to know she's a she yet. <laughs> We're supposed to think, oh, that's he. It's a he. It's a Jack. And I want to scan that thing. But I don't want to do it on camera is boring so let's just uh, go here get this mission started
Okay, I guess we're gonna go Miranda Garris again. Miranda with warp, Garris with overload. Loved Kane, one of them frickin' heavy max, but we ain't got very much in the way of heavy weapon ammo because I used almost all of it up uh, on the last mission. Actually, I used all of it up, although the last time I checked, it said I still had six. Oh, well. Take that. Welcome to the Purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. That's right, stare him down, Shepard. Let them proceed. <laughs> Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fun's clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to out-processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. I need to change your armor colors again. Cell Block 2. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. You and Garrish get along famously. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent. And their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help. So we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world. At an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket? You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. 
These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with this. Have you had any escape attempts? We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. Shepard doesn't like him at all. Guy just, first thing is, I spaced a few just as an example. It's like I committed murder. He's just admitted to murder. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Hmm. I wasn't asking. You're in a high security facility with guns and cameras everywhere, and you're threatening me? Those guns and cameras won't be fast enough to save you. Is that right? I told you to stop. Call it off. At least for now. Um. Hey. I Hey guys, over here. Uh, we'll hey, ask, ask you something. We'll ask if you're buying questions. prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. I should go. Wish I could go. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have killed all those people. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Out processing. That's where we want to go. Out processing is through the door on the far side of the room. I thought this was out processing. That's not out processing over there. All right. Well, that's enough for this episode. Get over here, guys. In the next episode, hopefully. We'll pick up Jack. <laughs> After a few complications, I'm sure we don't go anywhere without weapons <laughs> for a reason. All right, until next time.